In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Holy Mother Mary, St. Michael the Archangel, the Archangels, the legions of angels of light, St. Expedite, St. Sada, Great Goddess Lakshmi, Great Goddess Tara, Great Goddess Isis, Great Goddess Kuan Yin, Holy Divine Mother, Holy Divine Father, Creator of love and light, I ask you to come into this ceremony and bring our intentions into the holy fire to bring to us on this planet peace and love and light and joy and abundance and beauty and graces and miracles at this pivotal and important time on this planet. I ask the spirit of the Sangre de Christos, the spirit of the Pecos Wilderness, the spirit of the Galisteo Basin, the spirit of the Ortiz Mountains, the spirit of the Manzano Mountains, the spirit of the Sandias, all of Los Cerrillos, the spirit of the Hemis, and the spirit of surrounding mountain areas, including the Oregons, to come and give us strength, to come and give us peace, to come and bring us love and light. Thank you. <laughs> Um, well, Pila, for uh, doing this for our grandmothers, and we are we are a guest here. My mother and I are guests here from Lakota country, Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, and um, we are glad to be here on this very uh, uh, special night in world history because of what we're going through right now, not only one person, but everyone is going through what we are all experiencing. We're all looking forward to getting back to where we used to be, which we cannot do. Because when we do, it's gonna be a different world. We're, gonna, we're entering into a different world. It's not gonna be the same no more. The paradigm has shifted and we're our generation, no matter how, what our age is, we are the ones by destiny to be chosen to see this shift. But we don't know how long the shift has been going on. Maybe it's been 20 years. Maybe it's just only been since 2019. We don't know how long the shift is gonna last. Maybe it's going to run to 2030. What we have to do as us Lakota people, we stay grounded in the ways of our ancestors. And even though you're not Native American, you have ancestors. You have grandparents and great-grandparents. You have aunties and uncles that always knew how things were going to be. And they told each of us those things. Always stay grounded. Always respect everybody and everything. And so I'm speaking only because my mother told me to speak. And these were things that she already told me. I ask for blessings for everybody that wherever you came from, that you will get back over there safely again. My mother is 96 years old. She loves junk food. <laughs> so I said, Mom, I see you're supposed to set a good example for people to follow. She loves tabloids, so. <laughs> Okay, come oh, in the end. I am very pleased to to do this for to be here 
I never, I never go any place at home. But there's few times that I have left, and the circle that is here, I have that at my house. And my boys are sun dancers, and they they do a lot of uh, prayers. The great one made me come. So I'm here, and I am one of the 13 indigenous grandmothers of the world, her and I. And we have come today to do these things wherever we go, all the grandmothers. I'm very pleased to be here amongst you people. <coughs> and uh, I'm going to speak in my language. Hold Gashila. I'm better than I am. Nina Lichum's air, Wahinas in Texas, Slovakish. Ho air to Gashila near Solia. No near Trahena Kia Amaya. Ho chanke to Gashila. We are to kill an aunt, Daku Chakrap Hitchner. Near Slolia, Yo Hila, Yo Lechel, Yankape Kilena, Daku Yuk Champikena, near Slolia. You know, great grandfather, you know why all of these people are sitting here. You know their, what they are thinking and what they want to be done. So, in me, me in my days of prayers, first thing in the morning, I wake up, and rest. before that sun comes up, I stand there and wait for it to come up. And when it, it's barely coming up, I pray to Tungashila, the Great One. And I pray for everybody, everybody, all the people on this earth, I pray for them. I don't know who they are, but I always pray that the Great Spirit will take care of each and every one that is on this earth. We are praying. We pray. I don't know how many people are praying, but I know I do a lot of praying for, for my people. And I tell, I talk to the Great Spirit, and I tell him that you're the one that put us on this earth. You're the one that brought us here in the United States. Here we are, us Lakota people are here, and there's other people that are you have put in places here in the United States. And I said, please, dear God, I am just a common person, but please have pity on all of them. You know each and every one what they're doing and what they're thinking. So please, dear God, help them to better themselves and to take care of one another, and especially the young children, the ones that are born. And then, here we are, Great Spirit. Here I am, I'm an old person, and there, I'm not the only one. There's a lot of old people that are left at homes. The grandmothers in places are left at home alone. I read about it. I read about things like that, that some people do not care for their young, for their old, older people. They don't care if that old lady or old man is suffering at home and is hungry. They don't care. Just as long as they are happily doing whatever they're doing in, in a city or out, outside of their place. And so I talk to the Great Spirit, and I pray that he will look down upon all who he put on this earth to take care of them as much as that he could. And I know the Great Spirit, God, will take care of each and every one of us. I thank you, and I'm pleased to see every one of you. My name is Rita Long Visitor. 
holy dance. And I'm from Pine Ridge, South Dakota. Thank you. I'd like to say uh, greetings to everyone. Much blessings on this sacred day. I would like to ask uh, Boomer for permission where I might come around and face the fire. Thank you. You've brought us here, beloved beauty. On this beautiful, beautiful day, beloved creator. Allowing me to stand here before you. Spirit of greatness, beloved beauty. Shining around us, through us, beloved creator. You're the fire that dwells in our body, the light that moves us, beloved creator. You gave us the knowledge from the beginning of time, beloved beauty. I thank you. Thank you for bringing me here today on this sacred day, beloved mother, father, creator, this beautiful, beautiful day of Zaging, beloved beauty. The day of the mediator, beloved creator. The day in which we receive messages. The day in which we are reminded to stand and move in a sacred straight line between the heavens and the earth, beloved creator. It's the time in which we shed anything that does not belong in us. We cleanse ourselves, bless ourselves, beloved creator, allowing ourselves to free ourselves from worry, inhaling the essence of your beauty, beloved. Thank you. Thank you for touching me in that way. The beauty of your essence, beloved. You're the fire of not only here, beloved creator, but the fire in the four directions. The fire amongst the men and the women. Give us strength, beloved beauty. Give us the strength to move forward in this difficult, difficult time, beloved creator. This time in which we a longing for peace in our hearts, healing in our hearts, the cleansing and the clearing of all of our minds, removing any doubt and any hatred that is in us, beloved creator, and showering us with your beautiful, beautiful, beautiful light. Beloved spirit of the sacred peace, you're the light that I see, the light that is burning in the fire, the light that is moving in the fire. Beloved creator, take this beautiful essence and plant it on those around the globe, not only here, in this place, in this state, beloved creator, but all around the globe, allowing this essence to move about through the rivers, through the oceans, beloved creator, and to climb the mountains and to reach the people in a sacred circle, beloved beauty. 
touching them, bathing them, bringing the peace, beloved beauty. This is the essence that I see within your fire, beloved creator. Releasing pain, releasing anxiety, releasing discomfort, releasing anger. Opening our hearts, piercing our hearts, allowing us to feel that healing light, allowing it to move throughout our body, awakening every cell in our body, beloved creator. As it moves about, like a wheel of light as it moves about between the heavens and the earth. Embracing each and every one of us. The seen and the unseen, male and female. children, babies, middle age, and the elderly. Beloved Creator, you're bathing us with your beautiful, beautiful white light. Beloved Beauty, thank you. Embracing us in that mantle of light, beloved creator. As I feel it moving throughout my body, and my prayer is that it moves throughout each and every one. This beautiful, beautiful light of the sacred setting sun, beloved creator. As we become prepared for the spirit of the grandmother moon, of her light to bathe us and to move us, so that we can have the strength to do whatever it is that we are guided to do in the next month, beloved beauty. Mm. As I inhale your beautiful, beautiful energy, moving it throughout my body. Connecting myself, planting myself like an umbilicus of light, standing on the earth here and moving about into the infinite. Mm. 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 
We are one with the light, beloved creator. We're one with your beautiful, beautiful light. Beloved spirit of the setting sun, beloved spirit of the sacred fire, we are one. <laughs> bathing us from here till eternity, bathing us from here so we could journey as the moon rises the spirit of the West as we will be journeying into the nighttime. Thank you, beloved creator. Thank you, beloved mother, father, giver of life, beloved beauty giver of life. Yes, it's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, beloved creator. This beautiful incense of Copal are for the future generations, beloved beauty, for the children around the world, beloved creator. Let it be so that they receive all of the blessings of this beautiful, beautiful essence of this copal. Thank you, beloved. Thank you for the sacred moment. And this is for the teenagers to remind them that the grandmothers are praying for them. And this is for the young adults, the moms and dads, beloved creator. And this is for the elderly, the grandmothers and grandfathers.
to the future generation's beloved creator. Mm-hmm.